Yo, what's going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm running with some randoms in the park. And yes, I'm having a hard time out here in the park with these randos because they just trash, bro. I am 5 and 22 right now running with randoms trying to get my rank up because if you guys were watching me last year, I was a part of Old Town. I made the switch because Old Town was just, I mean, it was laggy. Um, it just didn't feel like the rest of the park. So, you know, I had to get up out of there. So I'm a pro, well, rookie five right now, getting ready to hit pro one. But 2K, what are y'all doing out there? So we're going to, we, just forget about it. We're going to be talking about this, this nerfing going on because apparently 2K out here messing the game up already. And the game hasn't even been out for a month yet. Um, so the latest update, the, the tuning online has been for the sharpshooters and the stretch bigs. Now, I don't know what in the world is going on over there at 2K, but they dropped the success rate of open shots. How, Sway? How do you drop the success ratings of open, wide open shots, man? You can barely make any shots now. Barely. It's slim to none. Sharpshooters... I understand the nerf to the whole pulling up from half court for the stretch bigs all right that's cool you know sharpshooters they shouldn't have took a big hit they should have just been like the game should recognize if they're contested and it should make them you know get a shot penalty no doubt about it so they should have nerfed that but other than that the sharpshooters should have been left alone um everybody else shouldn't have been penalized because the sharpshooters are able to hit shots from half court or the stretch bigs you should have went into that archetype and basically took the shooting success for them from half court turn that down and only for them nobody else because nobody else is hitting from out there like that but instead you know they decided to go in there turn it down for everybody across the board screw up the whole game now everybody's slow. They already nerfed the playmakers, which I am a playmaker. I'm really slow. A center can check and hold me now, which is hilarious. Um, and I can't really break them down because they nerfed ankle breakers. So you really can't get your ankles taken out here anymore. I understand that they nerfed it because you could be standing still and you would fall down if somebody with ankle breaker would drop you. But all they had to do, again, was nerf that just a little bit. Not completely take the whole badge and make it irrelevant. And look at this play right here. That was hilarious. I had to flop. But, you know what I mean? It's bums out here at the park, man. And they're going to keep complaining. And they're going to keep complaining until 2K just screws this whole game up like they did 16. Now, the skill gap is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, which is not good for us um it looks like they're trying to make it so the bums can hang with the good people and this this latest online tune has made that quite clear now i understand that you had to nerf the limitless range badge dead eye and all that stuff that's cool sharpshooters should not be hitting you know 10 for 10 from half court or something like that i'm just throwing a random number out there but they shouldn't be hitting very consistent out there i understand that but why are you going to touch ankle breaker? And here's the thing with the ankle breaker. I didn't speak on this when it got nerfed, but I'm going to right now. Ankle breaker. If you're in the center on my team was like a 57, I think. And he was just trash, bro. He was standing in the paint, just turning the ball over. He was, this ain't the first game either. He followed me to another court. Um, and he played like trash there too. But back to his ankle breaker situation. When you standing still, all right these dudes that, that's randomly falling down like that is because their defense was trash we weren't breaking uh lockdown defenders ankles i can verify that right now we were breaking ankles of centers we were breaking ankles of people who put all their skills or attributes or ratings or vc whatever you want to refer to it as into their offensive set instead of having some in their defensive side of things those are the people that was hitting the deck a whole bunch of times you know and they kept crying to the point where 2k nerfed our ankle breaker badge now let me tell you something playmakers already can't really shoot i don't understand who came up with that concept because in real life playmakers can shoot you got guys like cp3 you got guys like well i would say Kyrie, but he can do like 
he can shoot a little bit but he's more on the slashing side of things he's going to get it done in the inside more so than the outside but he can shoot you know so it's disrespectful to say that playmakers can't shoot it's disrespectful to say that um you know sharpshooters can't dribble a little bit now stand still knock down sharpshooters like larry bird or somebody like that or ray allen those guys now we understand they don't dribble a lot but when you just completely say that sharpshooters can't dribble at all there's a problem but you know if they keep this up the game is going to be dead soon